So that's a freaking huge reason why I hate team changes. I've gone through so many team changes in the past couple months, weeks. It's a, it's just freaking terrible, man, and I'm tired of it. You know, I'm a good ass player. I think I'm pretty good. I deserve better. But whatever happens, I just gotta change my gamer tag, my Instagram, my fucking YouTube, my graphics, etc. <sighs> It just really sucks, you know, all these team changes, I wish I can just stay on one team, work together, I feel like it's so unnecessary, all these people doing team changes, all the people changing their, their roster, and all this shit, it's just a bunch of shit, but either way guys, I'm not really that mad about it, because I kind of saw it coming, to be honest, but before I start, I want to give a shout out to Elevate, they're a great organization, and they're definitely really professional, and I love everything about them, but in today's video, I'm going to talk about me getting traded to Rise and me getting dropped from Elevate. You know, I didn't really see it coming, but at the same time, I did. Now, you may ask why. First of all, after we lost, everybody stormed out. Obviously, everybody was pissed. You know, I had a little bit of mistakes uh, in s &D here and there throughout the whole tournament. But nothing that, not that big of a deal. But obviously, you know, it could have probably helped us a little bit more. Maybe clutch up around. But, you know, they stormed out. Uh, about a couple hours later, obviously, I was pissed as hell too. I tweeted... I. I freaking text the group chat. I was like, yo, what's going on? Anybody here? F well, throughout the whole day, I text about maybe four times. Nobody responded. Now, at that time, at that point, that's the hint, right? Like, that's a good way of knowing if you're still on the team. Obviously, if you still were on the team, your teammates who, who like you and who know you're, you're going to be your teammates for a while, and, you know, they would respond back. They'd be like, yeah, what's good? Do you want to go eat or something? Or, you know, they would conversate with you. But as soon as they didn't respond, I was like, yep, something's going down. And I even texted a couple times, like I said, to make sure, you know, this is going to happen. So, yeah, pretty much something went down. I wish they would have told me a little bit earlier because it would have been good for me. You know, I really wanted to know maybe I could have made a move a little bit earlier. You know, maybe I could have done something about it. But they told me about an hour before. But at least Slack told me, you know, it wasn't someone else. Uh, actually, Slack called me and then Wheats texting me like about 10 5 10 minutes later which is which is almost cutting it close also bad part about this is i made a umg dallas recap video that took me about 15 minutes long i was like this is way too long you know talking about my team talking about how we how we're, we're good and how we need to practice and what happened at the event so i shortened it down to about 11 12 minutes and i was gonna post it yesterday but then all of this went down so i'm like okay no point even posting this video now so i'm doing this video now talking about rise and, you know, I wish we really would have stuck. I mean, we had a lot of potential. You know, little mistakes. Uh, us not clutching up was really bad, obviously, in our part. But that could have potentially put us top four, maybe top three if we clutched up, rather than top 12. So, like, if we just stuck together, we fixed our mistakes. If we, like, it's not even that we played bad. You know, we all played really good. We all, we all played amazing. And it just sucks to see this happen because this is, like, what everybody does now you know something doesn't go right for them one event and they go back to an old player or they make a team change or they pick up someone else or like oh he was the problem and this and that when they don't realize the bigger picture but obviously you know them picking up TJ it's an old teammate it's understandable you know good luck to them uh, obviously they're gonna be fine you know he's, he's kind of a similar player like me and probably a little bit more aggressive in SD which I guess that's what they were looking for but you know to be honest I really wish we would have stuck uh, I know we ha we had a ton of potential. Uh, we we're looking really good in pool play, and you know, unfortunately, we unfortunately we didn't clutch up in bracket play. But you know, we were so close to maybe potentially 3-0ing Envy or 3-1ing Envy, and then TCM we should have 3-0 them. But you know, we choked up really bad S and D, lost a 5-2 lead, and you know, the hard point we lost by two points, and then S and D has destroyed us. But, like overall, like these games are really close, and to make a decision like this after that, you know, it's kind of dumb, but. Who am I to judge, right? I'm, I'm not the captain. I'm obviously just a player in the team. And they just decided to go with someone they're more comfortable with. Someone they had success with. And a lot of you guys tell me, like, why didn't you uh, join someone else? Or why are you joining Rise? Or why, what, why, like, why everything? And guys, like, I don't really have a choice. You know, I got a call saying pretty much I'm getting traded for TJ. If you want to join Rise, go ahead. You know, they're my only option. So it, I was kind of forced into it. And I obviously want to be in a team. I want to be in a league team. You know, at times, there's some times where you can't control what happens. Just like in life, you can't control everything. Stuff are going to happen. You know what? You just got to deal with it. You got to work with it. You got to try your best and hopefully things get better. You know, that's the only way, that's the way things work sometimes. It's, you can't have it all. You can't always get what you want. So, yes, 
I am going to be on rice for now. Uh, hopefully, you know, I, I believe we're attending a lot of events, so that's a good thing. I don't want to make any announcements because I don't know if I, if I can right now. And, you know, it's good. I'm really excited to be playing at all these events with this new team. Uh, obviously, I've never played with them except in 1-8s. I played it with Chino. He's really good. Uh, Weeds, I played with him a little bit. And these players, you know, they've had some success. Now, I'm not talking about winning events, but throughout the, this game, they've played, they place like top eight, top six. Like, you know, they're not, the, they're not worst teammates. They're not the worst players. You know, they definitely have some skill. Now, we're not talking about high caliber players, like maybe players from FaZe or Optic or all these stuff. But, you know, I'm in this situation. I got to deal with it. You know, I, I wish I would have maybe got notified earlier. Maybe wish I could have made a different... Uh, maybe somehow, but you know, I can't. I can't. I'm stuck on rise. This is where I am. And you know, throughout my whole AW career, I've been stuck in shitty situations. You know, I've always been, I guess, a problem for the most part. You know, people look at me as that way. And you know, throughout the game, I have been improving. Now, obviously, I tweeted out, and you know, I was really motivated to, when I get back home, fix some mistakes. I had an uplink with the bow because I was using the bow, which I'm not even used to. And on, especially on Detroit, the only map I was kind of used to using the bow was comeback but you know on my team I was forced to use it pretty much on comeback Detroit and bio which I didn't really complain much because I like the bow on those maps but I'm not the best at it when it comes to map positioning probably like I know how to slay with it and like, you know just get some kills but uh, you know I said you know I was really motivated I really wanted to work with this team I, I really wanted to push myself become better and you know they pretty much traded me so there's nothing I can do I've been traded you know, I still want to improve those stuff. Uh, my SD is slowly getting better. It's progressing. My uplink is getting better. You know, I'm just going to keep learning from my mistakes. I, I, I always been pretty good at this game. You know, from the start, I won the first event throughout the game. You know, I've always had a 1.10 KD or higher at every event. Regionals, champs. You know, I had both of those events at like a 1.20. You know, every event I've always had a high KD. You know, I'm, I'm, I think myself as a really good player. Obviously, I, I do a little mistakes. Nobody's perfect. And... I wish I could improve those little mistakes and that's what I'm doing now but I wish you know I would have had a chance to improve with this team because I knew we would have done great things but unfortunately you know I just gotta work on myself become better and uh, let them do Elevate is gonna do whatever they're gonna do I'm gonna work on my team you know I'm teaming with Weeds, Chino and TCM and you know I'm just gonna try my best to uh, advance with them become better progress you know become a better team uh, learn from each other whether what we're doing wrong or right and you know this is where I am now this is my home I'm on rise and I just got to deal with it you know I got to fix it I got to work with them if if they're doing something wrong I got to tell them you know so we could get better if I'm doing something wrong I'll tell them so they'll tell me so I could get better either way guys like I said it was pretty stupid of them to uh, trade me but obviously you know they want to play with TJ let them play with TJ uh, a lot of people don't know I feel like what I bring to the table obviously I have little mistakes but other than that, I think I'm a really strong player. You know, I'm I'm very I'm a very strong player, and I've always been like that. You know, throughout throughout every game, uh, especially in Ghost, at the start, you know, I was pretty good. Midway, I kind of started slacking a little bit, and then throughout the end, you know, I learned so much. I became insanely good. I, I fixed all my mistakes, and I was probably considered one of the best players. And that's something you know, I'm doing now. And the beginning of AW, I was pretty good. The middle, you know, after champs, I kind of slowed down because I was kind of, I guess I was kind of demoralized, pissed that I played amazing and we still didn't even get top eight. And, you know, I'm starting to pick it up again. I really want to win. I have the fire. I'm really motivated. I'm just going to continue to play. I mean, I'm playing more now than I probably ever was. You know, I'm streaming about eight, six, eight hours a day, and I'm probably going to increase that number. And, you know, I'm just playing a lot. I just want to become the best, one of the best at least, you know. I know I have the skill. I know I have the talent. You know, I'm learning every day. And I'm just excited to hopefully play better and, you know, improve our rise rank. Because right now, I think we're 1-4. in four. I think we're 1-4, in four, which is pretty bad considering there's 22 matches left. So that leaves us at, what, 17 matches left. And, yeah, we have a lot of work to do. But, I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm going to try my best. I'm literally going to give it my all. I really want to make the season. And I'm just going to hope for the best. I'm going to try my ass off. I'm going to keep playing every day. If I have to 1v4 teams, if I have to carry my team, if I have to drop 40, 50 bombs every game, I will do it. I will do whatever it takes. And that's the fact. That's the truth. So either way, guys, you know, it sucks that I've been traded to Rise. 
But at the same time, at least I have a new home. I'm really glad and happy to have this opportunity to play with these new players and I'm gonna make the best of it. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy and Rise Out.